All right, hello everyone. So if you're hopping in and you're brand new to Star Citizen, first off, welcome. This is an amazing game. Uh, bear with it that it is in active development, but with that said and all the disclaimers out there of you know uh, running into to bugs and everything like that, honestly, some of the bugs that you run into in Star Citizen will make some of the most unique experiences that you'll ever run into or encounter in a video game. Some of them will make you laugh, some of them will make you cry. When you first come in, uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to pick one of these three game modes here. They're quite simple. Uh, the Persistent Universe, the PU, is where everyone plays together in this big sandbox, right? Right now, the, the servers are capped at 50 players. So, um, and then you have Star Marine, think of like Halo, Battlefield, you know, etc. First person shooters. And then you have Arena Commander. And Arena Commander is split between two different segments. Uh, one of them is you can go in and fly around a ship and see how it feels without anyone shooting at you in a nice controlled environment. Uh, you can get out of the seat, walk around the ship, kind of look at it. Uh, but then there's the uh, uh, combat side of it where you can fight against either players or AI. All right, and uh, stepping right in here, uh, if we're going to go into the Persistent Universe, one of the things that you're going to see is um, if you have purchased a game package to uh, um, uh, Star Citizen, sorry, uh, you'll see that you're going to have three menu options here. There's Area 18, Loreville, and then New Babbage, okay? So those are the three planets that we have in the game right now that have spawn locations. And one of the other things that we that I do is I always make sure that I select my region. So I'm going to select USA and I'm going to go ahead and jump right in here. OK, so we are waking up. We're at Lorville. Press Y to get up out of bed and you walk over to the door and you hold F to bring up your interaction mode. And then you can either hold left and left click or you can just press F on it real quick. And that's the default action. Then, to get to your ship, just go up the stairs, go over to the elevator button, alright, once you get in the elevator, we're going to go to the ground floor, okay, once you come out of the elevators, what you're going to want to do is you're always going to want to go this way. You're heading towards the ships. Right. And just follow the path. And again, we're going to get on the train. So the way we can head towards the space port. Welcome to Metro Get off the train here. Your fellow travelers. Do not lock doors. And we're going to go to the, sh the ship retrieval terminals. Okay, now that we're at the vehicle retrieval console, we're going to hold F to bring up our interaction mode, and then we're going to left click. Now, what you're going to see here is going to be different for you, but here is a list of all of your ships. So from this list, obviously, you're just going to pick whatever it is that you want to fly. And so for me, I'm going to take out... I'm going to take out one of the nomads. Alright, now pay attention to this. Hangar 9. Okay? 
Hangar 9 is where we're going to go. We're going to back up. We're going to head over to the elevators to get to one of the hangars. Elevator button. And Hangar 9. Now this is one of the things that's a little different from ship to ship. So, but anyways, I'm standing outside of the Nomad here and I'm on the left hand side of it. And this is actually the door. So if I hold F, brings up my interaction mode, All right? So now I'm gonna want to enter ship. All right, once you enter, don't worry, the door will close for you. See? And then we're just going to go up to the cockpit. Hold F to interact. Enter pilot seat. Okay, once you're once you were in the seat, and you can actually see this little, um, you can see that your crosshair is 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 fixed here. Um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to press. R on your keyboard, and that is the default hotkey for flight ready in your ship. R. Welcome. Your journey begins now. All systems operational. See? Okay. Now that you're in your ship and you've got it flight readied, we need to request permission to take off. So, in order to do that, you press F11 on your keyboard. It's a default mapping, and that'll bring up the comm link. Okay? Then we go to the friends tab right here and then you click on this little wi-fi link that's the request permission to either take off or land so i'm going to click it okay, so. all right and then you can press the same key again to just close the mobile glass so and if i look up no, i'm using track r track IR. So if you look up, you'll see that the hangar doors are starting to open. All right. Now, before we take off, something that's very helpful for new pilots is to use the horizon lock. Okay. The horizon lock will prevent you from pitching the nose. Okay. So it'll prevent you from here. So what I'll do is I will demonstrate. I'm going to lift off just a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to nose down. I'm going to nose up. This action right here, horizon lock will prevent you from doing. And it's very useful for wanting to just take off just vertically without having any any sort of uh, additional movement. So in order to do that, you press the right shift on your keyboard. So I'm going to press it. And now when I move my mouse, it does not pitch the ship up or down. So now I can just use the space bar to just lift straight up and out of here. Okay. And now that I am out, I'm going to press right shift again to turn horizon lock off. See? Now I can move again. So... And the first thing you want to do is you want to identify your exit splines, okay? These will be the same as if you're entering or exiting. So, and you have to go through them. It is not optional. And before I take off, if you look right here on the MFD, you're going to see gear. That means that my landing gear is still down. So before I take off... Thank you, and please visit again. Before I take off, I'm going to press N on the keyboard and that's going to retract my landing gear. So, I'll go into third person here, press in. And there you go, you can see it. Landing and also, retracted. you can see that the indicator has changed. Okay, so now let's exit the landings, or the, the exit splines. 
and I am scrolling forward on the mouse wheel. If you look at the bar that's going up and down, I am scrolling forward, backwards, forward, backwards, and that increases or decreases your max speed. I'm just going to go ahead and max it out. I'm going to point up so that way we can gain some altitude. And then I'm going to press C on the keyboard. And now if you notice this indicator, that's cruise control. So I've got cruise control on and I will continue to gain speed until it reaches that particular limiter right there. And then a really nice thing to do if you're just trying to climb out of altitude is you can get your, your uh, uh, degrees here set to, uh, so I want about a 70 degree climb here. And then I'm going to press right shift to horizon lock. And then it'll keep you very, it'll keep you pretty close to that. And I'm using spacebar, as you can see here, this is actually where the ship is trying to go. I'm just using spacebar to help guide it. So now we've got cruise control on, we've got horizon lock enabled, so I can't uh, move the nose of the ship. And you can see that we're, uh, taken off nice and nice and easy nice and smooth okay now that we've gained enough altitude and I think you only need to be uh, I think 10 10 or 12,000 for um, for Lorville. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press B on the keyboard to spool up. Now these indicators that you see here, I can jump to, okay? So you can see the quantum drive calibrating, and what that's going to allow you to do is now that it's calibrated, I can hold B again on the keyboard, and quantum it will jump us over engaged. to it. Quantum travel complete. If we're just waking up here at uh, area 18, what we're going to do is press Y to get out of bed. And we're going to walk over to the door, hold F to interact, click, and we're going to go over to the elevators. Interact with the elevators. And we're going to go to the ground floor. Gonna head this way. to get on the train. If the door opens, there we go. terminal okay now that we're here hold F to interact and just pick whatever ship that you want to take out so and I'm gonna take out the thank you for visiting our corp 
Mercury Star. Phantom's capital of commerce. Whatever your transaction, we wish you a beneficial and prosperous stay. Alright, always pay attention to this, Hangar 4. Sometimes it bugs out and it's supposed to say it um, where it is there, but sometimes it does not. It's in Hangar 4, so we're going to go around here, go to the elevators. From transforming worlds to exploring the stars, our Corp is proud to bring the universe closer together. Our Corp, investing in tomorrow's future. Hold F to interact, get in the seat. Okay, again, once you're in the ship and you're ready to take off, press R to flight ready the ship. All right, I'm gonna press F11 to bring up the Moby Glass, to bring up the, um, the comm link. I'm gonna go to friends. And I'm going to request permission to take off by clicking the little Wi-Fi icon here. You are clear to launch. All right. And again, a tip for new players for taking off. Press right shift on the keyboard. That is your horizon lock. So that way it'll keep the ship nice and level when you're taking off. If I look up, I should see it opening up. And again, if you're a new player, press F4 to go into third person. The way you can actually see the ship and see essentially how close you are. You can use Z for your free look. All right. Now, the important thing to note here is that while you are in free look, you cannot see your landing splines or uh, take, take off or landing splines. So also I'm gonna press N to bring up my landing gear. So now I wanna show this. So I'm panning around here just so that way you can see that there are no landing splines Thank visible you. but they're there all right so now i'm going to press f4 to go back into first person and i'm just going to look and there they are over to my left so turn horizon lock off so that's your right shift and just head out of your landing splines or uh, takeoff splines leaving splines i'm sorry Trying to be helpful and being confusing. <laughs> and there we go. And we are out. And if you press B to spool up. right there in front of us. So I'm going to quantum over to that to get out of atmosphere um, faster. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to point up the way I can gain some altitude here. Engines too hot. And what you'll notice is that when you see how it's now blue, that means I can quantum to it. So now, if I point, see how it transitioned from red to blue? That means I can quantum over to it. Quantum travel engaged. Quantum travel complete. And here we are. So that was a quick way to get out of atmosphere.
Okay, as we are spawning here at New Babbage, we're going to press Y to get up and out of the bed. Go over to the door, hold F to interact and get out, and we're going to go over to the elevator. So hold F to interact. Now, one thing to note is that uh, we are not going to the, uh, in this video, I'm not going to the event. I'm actually showing you how to get to the spaceport so that way you can get to your ships that you've just rented. Um, so that way you can uh, go and actually uh, fly them around. But anyways, as soon as you come down here, you go right to go to the event. You go left to go to the spaceport. I hope it is such a, oh God, just turn it. And now I have to wait for the next trend. Sometimes they do not. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Alright, go up to the terminal. Just go and grab whatever ship you want. All of Microtech's latest offerings. So, yeah, stick the 890 up. Microtech. And again, pay attention the to this, Hangar 19. Because sometimes the indicator does not work, as you can see right there. It's supposed to show Hangar 19. Thing that I wanted to show is these little circular air rings here are telling you where you can interact. So if you notice that you can't see anything here, but if I hold F in front of this area, you get the interact. Okay, so we're going to call the elevator and then we're going to wait 15 minutes for it to come down this uh, very small ship. It takes a minute. Alright, we're going 
to go up. Same thing, just like all the other ships. Once you actually sit down and you get the reticule that pops up in your screen, give it a second, and then you press R to flight ready the ship. Origin jump marks at your service. Core system operational. All right. And then I'm going to press right shift to horizon lock. All right. And then I'm going to press F11 to bring up the Moby glass. And then I'm going to go to friends and I'm going to request permission to take off. Then if you look up, you'll actually see the hangar's opening. take off, use, use a little bit of afterburner, press in to bring up the landing gear, so just so that I can show you, so I'm going to press in, there you go, see the landing gear starting to come up, alright, and now, Turn horizon lock off so see now I can actually move the ship. Raised. And we are just gonna start to go up and out of here. And again, to quantum up to the nearest point, I'm gonna press B to spool up. I'm gonna look. See that square right there? That's Everest. So I'm gonna point towards it. Now, if you notice that indicator over there on the left-hand side, that's the trajectory of the ship. That's actually where the ship is going. So as I hold D on the keyboard, you notice how it's coming back over to the right. And then if I press spacebar, you notice how it's starting to come back up. So I'm making sure that the trajectory of the ship is actually in line with what I'm actually pointing at. That's very important. So, and then once I get it about where I want it to, I can use that horizon lock trick and I can do horizon lock to turn it on. And now I can just use spacebar to just keep it, just essentially keeping the nose of the ship from dropping as I'm continuing to climb here. I've got cruise control on and horizon lock just to kind of keep the ship level and moving in the same general direction that I want it to. Making sure that that traje trajectory uh, indicator is going where I want it to. go as soon as we cleared that altitude we can now quantum quantum drive activated there we quantum go drive deactivated. we are out of atmosphere and we are in space okay so now one of the important things that I wanted to point out is so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on cruise control and horizon lock Okay, so now I cannot move the ship. The only the only directions that the ship can be moved 
and you can see this by the indicator that's right here in the middle of the screen, the trajectory icon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press D so that way you can see that the ship is strafing right. I'm going to hold A as you can see the ship is strafing, strafing left and then if I spacebar you can see the ship is going up and then obviously if I do left control you can see the ship is going down right just so that way you can see that um, the impacts of horizon lock now if I turn horizon lock off which is right shift I can actually move the nose again so it controls the pitch okay so the other thing that's really important to note is that uh, there is coupled and decoupled mode so if you look down here you can see coupled so right now we're in coupled mode which means that all the thrusters are going to move and uh, try and keep the ship going forward in an even manner it's going to keep it hovering and etc if i turn that off i press the v as in victor on the keyboard i can actually spin the ship and you notice that my speed is not changing at all. I can do, I can just completely turn around. But now watch what happens whenever I turn coupled mode back on. So the ship is now fighting that trajectory and it's trying to essentially keep it level. So I'm losing speed. But anyways, that's just something that I wanted to help point out. And one of the last things that I, I picked the ship for a reason. Um, it actually has a bed in it so what I'm gonna do is press Y to get out of the ship out, out of the seat and then we're gonna go down to where one of the beds are okay just so that way you can see how they work so we're gonna go down here all right we're just gonna go into one of these rooms right here okay so here you can see the beds so you if you hold F and interact with it you can sit or lie down if you lie down in a bed and then you hold F and you look around, eventually you'll find the options to get up or log out. This is really important because uh, right now in Star Citizen, let's say that you were out and you were doing cargo hauling or you were doing a mining operation or you were, you were doing something and you wanted to somewhat preserve that thing that you were doing, the only way that you can really preserve it is um, or sorry where you are to be more specific is you can log you can do a bed log out when you do that bed log out the next time you log back in it will have you in your ship in that same place that you logged out so if I right right now if I press F2 to bring up my Moby glass and I double right click to zoom out uh, you can see that we are over here by Microtech. We're just kind of floating outside somewhere. Uh, and because I'm not in the cockpit, you won't actually see where we are. But anyways, so that's where we are right now. So if I do a bed log out and I log back in, I will be right where we are now if the positioning works. Sometimes it puts you in the middle of the sun. Sometimes it puts you exactly where you were. But it's just something that I wanted to point out. Um, if you do not bed log out, and you uh, just essentially close the game out and then you log back in, it will place you, you will spawn back at the last place that you requested permission to land. So when you bring up your Moby Glass and you request permission to land or take off, that last place is where you will wake back up. So if you had gone to Everest Harbor and you were you know, all the way across uh, over to uh, Area 18, you know, like 52 million kilometers away, uh, and you made it there, you just close the game right right there. When you log back in, it'll put you back where you had started from. So that's just something to uh, make note of. Quantum travel complete. Okay. If you're coming into New Babbage, depending on where the, uh, the quantum actually spits you out at, it may be hard to find. So a very, a, a very helpful tip is once you exit quantum, hold F and then you can actually use the mouse wheel to zoom in. So if you notice these domes right here, that's actually 
one place to enter uh, if you were to park outside, but I'm trying to show you guys where the spaceport is. So if you notice this particular fork right here, so if you see this, it forks. And then he's got that kind of bend. So if you were to follow this line over here, this is the spaceport, okay? So there's, there's other lines here, but notice that they don't have that fork, right? So this is the one that's very distinct and easy to follow. So anyways, again, just so that way you can see it. And we're going to head over to the spaceport. Just so that way you can see it a little bit better. actually contact the ATC. So, what we're going to do is we're going to press F11. We're going to go to friends and we're going to hail the landing services. Please proceed to assigned landing bay. All right. So, we got to get closer in order to see where it wants us to land. So, we don't actually have the indicator yet, but that right there is another ship taking off. Horizon lock, so right shift, go into third person, and you can position the ship how you need to. And it helps you see to make sure that you're not going to clip on the sides and etc. So when you're ready, bring your landing gear down and just bring the ship down. That's it. And again, to repair and refuel, you bring up the Moby Glass, go to the wrench. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Click on the wrench. And also, sometimes you get a 30k grade. Another thing that I wanted to point out in this in this video is the the ability to set a med bay so med bays are important because if you die you will respawn at the last place that you had requested permission to land so if you close the game and you reopened it you would respawn in that same place if you die so what we're going to do is we're going to go down here to the hangar access if you die but you had set your medical bay you will respawn at that medical bay 
assuming you're within range of it and i think the range is five thousand kilometers but anyways we're going to the med bay and we're going to go in here so now they just added these terminals so if you hold f and it's really hard to see hold on did they add it over here yeah, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But anyways, what you're supposed to... There we go. I was trying to get it so that way you can read it. Set as preferred ICU. So if I set... So I just held F and I left clicked on it. So now you can see that it's going to clear it. So now, if I... If I... Uh, if I just kill myself here by holding backspace... Boom, there we go. I respawned right, right where I'd set my med bay. And by the way, we're vampires in this game. We don't have reflections. One other really great thing that they, ju that they just recently added a couple of patch ago is the Mo Trader app. So uh, if you wanted to send somebody money, right? Let's say that you're a new player and you're playing with someone in your org. If you don't have an org, uh, Reed, R-E-E-D, is a great organization, um, you can have someone send you money. Uh, so you can send and receive. But anyways, uh, and to use it, it's very simple. Press F1 to bring up your Moby Glass. Down here, you're going to see the Mo Trader icon. So you just click on it. I'm going to say BN. And it doesn't matter who I send it to. They don't have to be online. They can be offline. But you can send them money. So if I wanted to, I can pick, uh, let's see, where is, there's Canuck, Cav, uh, here we go. I'll send Nubkins some money. So Nubkins is offline right now and it doesn't matter. So if I want, I can send him, you know, uh, 10,000 AUEC and send. Boom. Just like that. Sent him, sent him money. He's offline when uh, it's already in his, uh, it's already on his character in his account. So he doesn't have to do anything. He doesn't have to interact with it. So I just wanted to show how to use the Mo Trader app. So I'm coming in here to area 18 at Arcorp, and you can see right in front of us here is the spaceport, and you can see that there's another ship right there by that indicator. So uh, you can't just fly straight down to it. You have to. Bring up your Moby Glass, so uh, use F11 to bring up the comm link. Go to Friends and Area 18 Landing Services. Request permission to land. Please proceed to assigned landing bay. All right, wait for the landing splines, and there they are. All right, make sure you go in through the landing splines. And just ease your way on over to it. Out of the landing splines take a moment and look you see that indicator it took it it took it a second but it finally popped up it's over there so I need to go over there it's not always instant sometimes it takes a couple of seconds but just wait and be patient all right and so for a lot of new players that are learning how to fly uh, what you can do, so this is a, a little tip. Position yourself over the uh, where you're about to land, all right? And then what I wanna do is I want to zero out. And what I mean by that is I'm going to get the horizon indicator to be zeroed out, about like that. All right, once I'm there, I'm gonna press right shift to horizon lock. Now, I, I'm moving my mouse, but it's not doing anything, okay? so. And then what you can do is you can press F4 to go into third person, all right? And then use the third person controls. And in order to move this around, I'm holding the Z key. But the really nice thing is this gives me a nice advantage, advantage point as to how the ship is in relation to uh, where I'm trying to land, all right? So 
but I need to press my landing. I need to bring my landing gear down. So I'm going to press in on the keyboard. There you go. And, and then I can go back into what's called free look by holding Z to move myself around. And I'm just going to kind of inch forward, bring myself down a little bit, make sure that I'm good on the sides. All right, this is a, a wide ship, so I want to make sure that I don't clip. And just take your time. If you're a new player and you're learning how to fly these ships, take your time. There's no reason to, to be rushed and bounce off the sides of the walls and whatnot. So, and I can see that I'm going to clear it, so I'm just going to come straight down. And I'm going to go back into first person here and just set her down. Landing. All right, and the more times you do this, the easier this will become and you won't actually have to go into third person. So, but now that we're here, let's go ahead and refuel the ship. So sometimes this works, sometimes this doesn't. So I pressed, uh, you can press F1, F2, F11, just to bring up the movie glass. And I'm gonna click on the wrench icon down here. It's kind of hard to see in the Mercury Star Runner, but uh, I'm gonna bring up the wrench and look at that, I can repair, refuel the hydrogen, and refuel the quantum fuel. So I'm going to repair, refuel the hydrogen, and refuel the quantum fuel. And I'm going to click confirm. And then if you look here, you're going to see it'll first fill up the quantum. Now this thing's a gas hog, so this is going to take a moment. And then it's going to refuel the hydrogen. And the bigger the ship, the bigger the tank, the longer this takes and the more expensive it is. All right, now it's gonna repair the ship and you can see right here, watch. Well, there was, there was uh, if there was any red, if there was anything damaged, you would actually see this uh, update. You would see it flicker. One of the very, very helpful uh, key bindings that is not bound by default is to open and close all doors. So press escape, Go to options, go to key bindings, advanced controls, flight cockpit, and you're going to see the open slash closed doors toggle. And when you click on this, double click again, so it's waiting for me to press something. So I'm going to bind this. I use semicolon. Okay. So that is very helpful. And to show you what it actually does, if I press it, so there's semicolon. So there you can see it opens everything on the ship, okay? And then if I press it again, you can see it close. So in order to modify your ship, uh, you're gonna bring up your Moby Glass, so you can do so by pressing F1, and then you're gonna go to the Vehicle Loadout Manager, okay? Now that you have the Vehicle Loadout Manager up, you're going to click the drop down and then you're going to find the ship that you want to modify. So the ship cannot be out on a pad. So you notice here that this ship is uh, locked. This cannot be modified, but all these other ships, they can. So the one thing uh, to note is that the, um, the components uh, for some of these ships can be expensive. So, but anyways, just to show you the uh, the Mercury Star Runner here. Um, the typically under the MISC is where you're going to have the actual uh, the, the missiles. Uh, the propulsion. This is going to be your quantum drive. The systems is where you're going to find your coolers, power plants, and shield generators. And weapons is where you're going to find the missile racks and the actual hard points themselves okay and then paint is obviously if you have the paint i don't have the night runner i'm sorry so but uh but yeah that's the vehicle loadout and so you would make the modifications select an item that you want on here and then you would save and equip another thing is uh how do you modify your equipment okay well i'm going to press f1 bring up the moby glass and I'm going to go to the equipment manager. So from the equipment manager, you're going to see um, your clothing, undersuit, weapons, armor, utility, and technology. So this is just your your Moby class. That's all we have here right now. But um, 
the in order to get your clothing to show you can't have your undersuit on so if i take the undersuit off by clicking unequip and then i click save and just give it a second and you'll see it update so now i can actually go here to clothing and i can start equipping stuff monocle whatever right and then you can save it But this is how you actually, uh, if you're just trying to run around in uh, civvies, this is how you would do it. But if you want to go back and you want to put your armor back on, I'm going to go back here. The nice thing about this is that um, if I had different loadouts saved, so if I had, oh, look at the textures, finally updated. Uh, but if I had different uh, loadouts, uh, and what I mean by loadout is different weapons, different attachments, uh, and etc. If I had them saved um on a different undersuit i could just unequip and re-equip that undersuit to put on those weapons so if i save this then i should have back on everything that i had on so one other thing that i wanted to point out is that uh if you're a new player and you're coming into the game there are certain areas that are highly contested and they are uh, uh, they there are people who pvp uh, in those areas more so than there are people doing pve over there um, now that varies you know depending on the people that are on that server at that time but for the most part anything over by crusader and port alisar and Yella has Grimhex, which is a lawless area. There's no, there's no comsat there. Um, this, this whole area over by Crusader is pretty much, uh, a, you know, uh, a PVP area. So, but if you're not into PVP and you're looking at doing like cargo hauling and whatnot, um, you know, there's, there's other places in the verse uh, that will allow you to avoid places over in Crusader. But if you don't mind some PvP and, you know, you don't mind up, uh, running into a couple of people who <laughs> want to try and blow you up, uh, Cru Crusader has some things over there that, uh, you know, you'd like to see as well. But um, if you're trying to avoid PvP and you don't want to deal with any of that stuff, then I would advise to stay away from Crusader as a whole while you're learning the game. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Again, I tried to pack as much in here that I thought would be helpful. I figured if, if new players were coming in, the common areas that everyone's gonna be kind of going in and out of are the three major landing areas, right? So Area 18, uh, New Babbage, and Lorville. And so I wanted to at least show how to actually take off out of Lorville, take off out of Area 18, land at Area 18, um, take off out of, out of New Babbage and land there because some of the places have landing splines, some don't. Um, I tried to get as much in this video as I thought relevant. There's so much to cover in Star Citizen that I tried to just put in some of the key things that I thought might be helpful. But again, there's so many that could have been put in this video. So if there's something that I missed that y'all think should have been in the video uh, let me know in the comments uh, below and uh, let me know what you would have liked to have seen in a either a follow-up video or another helpful you know another helpful or insightful video for new or experienced players but anyways I hope y'all like this and uh, enjoy <laughs>